It's 4 a.m. and your math exam is in five hours, followed by the most important interview of your life. The clock ticks, the moon glows, the dog snores, and you stare down at your freshly brewed cup of coffee, wondering if you should take another sip or crawl into bed. Well, believe it or not, it might be better to turn everything off and tuck yourself into bed. We're only beginning to understand why we need sleep at all, but we do know that it's critical for the body to balance and regulate its vital systems. Adults need 7 to 8 hours of sleep a night, while adolescents need about 10. It's estimated that 23% of people are sleep deprived, getting less than 6 hours of sleep each night. Many factors play a role in preparing your body to fall asleep and wake up. You have an internal body clock that has a 24-hour repeating rhythm called the circadian rhythm. There are two processes that control this rhythm. The first process involves a coordination of your body with certain cues in the environment, such as light and darkness. The second involves a rise in sleep-inducing chemicals such as adenosine and melatonin, which slow down your breathing and relax your muscles. We've all heard the phrase, the early bird gets the worm, but how much truth is there to it? Turns out, humans are a diurnal species, meaning we are programmed to be active during the day and sleep during the night. Chronotype is a term that refers to the genetic and behavioral components affecting what time you go to sleep. Chronotypes can be divided into two categories. Early birds prefer morning hours for intellectual and physical activity, and night owls sleep late and are more active in the evening. So, which is better? Studies show that early birds are more intelligent and productive compared to night owls, who had poor academic performance. As you age, this correlation is not as prominent, meaning that what works for someone else might not work for you. Getting a good night's sleep isn't always possible, so many of us like to snuggle up in the afternoon for a nice relaxing nap. There are three types of naps. Replacement naps to compensate for a lack of sleep, prophylactic naps in anticipation of a lack of sleep, and recreational naps, sleeping just for fun. Benefits of napping include improved cognitive functioning, motor ability, productivity, and general mood. The best time to nap is between 1 and 4 p.m. This is when the body experiences a period of sleepiness. A brief nap, as short as 7 to 10 minutes, is an ideal power nap. This results in immediate reversal of sleepiness and improved productivity, with benefits lasting up to 3 hours. A 20 to 30 minute nap results in sleep inertia, which is the disorientation that occurs immediately after waking up. This results in delayed benefits, but longer lasting ones, as some studies suggest. A two hour nap will result in extreme sleep inertia and an immediate decrease in productivity, but the potential benefits can last for up to 24 hours. While people of all ages complain of sleeping poorly, a physician can identify serious problems from the trivial ones. Sleep disorders can interfere with a person's normal physical, mental, social, and emotional functioning. It's important to take immediate action if you are concerned about a sleep disorder. Let's take a look at three of the most common sleep disorders. Insomnia is the most common and involves a difficulty falling asleep or staying asleep. Patients with insomnia wake up feeling groggy, fatigued, and anxious. There are various prescription drugs approved for the treatment of chronic insomnia. An alternative over-the-counter option is the use of melatonin supplements, a natural compound that regulates sleep cycles. Parasomnias are also common and include phenomena such as sleepwalking and night terrors. Sleepwalkers don't typically remember much of what happened when they wake up. Night terror episodes may result in screaming, violent movements, and panic. Most cases of parasomnias have no known cause. The third type of sleep disorder is sleep apnea. It occurs when breathing stops in irregular cycles or when the muscles of the throat block the airway, causing snoring. Sleep apnea is more common in adults, especially those who are obese or suffer from cardiovascular problems. Weight loss may be an effective measure to reduce airway pressure and improve breathing. In more severe cases, surgery can be used to open the airway. Proper sleep hygiene is thus important for your well-being. This includes refraining from activities and substances that increase cognitive arousal late in the day. 
It is also important to avoid long midday naps and to develop a regular sleep schedule. Have a good night!